Valka, you gotta be quiet now. I know, we're going to bed soon, but I have to film this video. Thank you. Here I am again, setting a new goal, creating a new habit. So far, I have a financial goal, uh, a self-improvement goal, and now and I'll, I will add another one, a fitness goal. Calisthenics. Before you come at me and remind me that I failed at this experiment or this project a while back, let me say this. When I first had the idea to start calisthenics, I had a lot of things on my plate. To be honest, way too many. The main issue was that I didn't have enough time to spend on this project. I was working on so many different things, one of which was my green card. With that being said, learn from my mistakes. That's Falco and he wants out. Good boy. Go. Go be. Sorry about that. Um, yes, we taught him to ring the bell whenever he has to go pee, so that was that. Where was I? Oh yeah, learn from my mistakes. Um, whatever you want in life, whatever you want to achieve in life needs your full attention. Side projects most of the time don't come to fruition. Now that I have a very <laughs> clear vision, <laughs> Now that I have a very clear vision of what I, where I want to be in the realm of calisthenics, I can attack this project with full force. This video is going to be a, a lot of fun to edit. As you guys know, there are a lot of people on YouTube that already show off their amazing skills and strength in bodyweight exercises, and I'm super motivated to get even close to where they are you know, within the next couple months. Mind you, I am well aware of my current capabilities and also my weaknesses, which I have to, you know, strengthen and work on. I did a lot of research, gathered a lot of information, asked some of my amazing friends who are really good at cal uh, calisthenics on how to actually get started and what the best way, you know, would be for me to get into this game. One important thing that I wanted to know was uh, recovery and frequency because when you train for hypertrophy, you know exactly, okay, I'm gonna hit whatever legs on Monday, then do another body part on Tuesday, and then maybe legs hit on Thursday again. So you split it up the entire week, but with body weights and compound movements, I wasn't too sure about that. My conclusion was to focus on the main exercises that are basically in every single compound move um, to just strengthen and build a strong foundation. Here's what I did so far. I focused on push-ups, pull-ups, or body rows, dips, planks, V-holds, and stretching. Why did I add stretching? Because I am not flexible enough to do certain things, for example, to get into a handstand from just being on the ground, because those people just have their legs like really close to their body, and then they just get up. I, I'm probably right here right now. So I really wanna to get to this position so I'm fully flexible. I can start there and just bring my legs up and into a handstand. For all of you guys who have been watching my uh, latest videos, you guys know that I have a plan for every single project um, and that I wanna just grow and get better every single day. For this project, I'm not gonna go off the 1% per day, but I will do 5% per week. So I wanna improve 5% per week. How is that gonna work? I'm gonna document every single rep that I'm gonna do for the entire week, um, add all of them up, and then by the next week I need to do more. So here are the numbers for the first week. I did 424 push-ups, 235 body rows, 14 minutes of V-holds, 16 minutes of planks, 142 dips, and 35 minutes of stretching. To my surprise, I was only sore for the first two days, which was great because that allowed me to work out every single day for the, the past week, uh, which obviously pumped up my numbers. My body adjusted really fast to the new workout, which I was very happy about because I thought I'm gonna you know, be extremely sore and won't be able to work out for a couple days. So I worked out every single day in this apartment. I didn't have a gym, so all I did was push-ups, the planks, the V-ups, the um, rows and the dips. That's all I did. But yeah, I wanted to establish a really great foundation so I can basically build up and improve and increase the, the, the workload and the difficulty of each exercise. For example, for the pull-ups, um, since I don't have a pull-up bar in this apartment, I'm gonna start with the, the body rows. So I'm just gonna do Australian pull-ups or body rows. I just call them body rows. And then as soon as I have my pull-up bar, I'm gonna move on to pull-ups and then even high pull-ups and then last but not least, a muscle-up. So that's my progression and I wanna get better at that 
step by step. But again, I need to start and you know perform the body rows first so my body knows, okay, that's, that's a solid position, I can hold that and that's good. And then I move on to the next one. Same thing with the push-ups. I'm gonna start with regular push-ups, although I have to say I already moved my hand position a little bit closer to my hip because I know for the planche, which is the future goal, I know it's, it's far away, but that future goal, I need to be able to bring my hands really close to my hip, um, puts a lot more stress on the shoulders, but I already started that. It's really difficult for me right now to just bring it really like far back. I can probably do like two or three, but I didn't wanna push my body too much to the point where I'm actually so sore that I need to stop for a couple days. My idea is to slowly increase the repetitions and the intensity so my body can adapt while I increase the workload so I don't have to stop and take a day off. Dips are so far my favorite exercise. I don't know why, probably because they're the most difficult for me at the, at the moment and I love a big challenge, but I have the most fun working on dips because I see the, the progress very fast. I started with a couple like seven, eight, like solid ones, like lock it out all the way down. Um, and I also focus on the execution. So I do it slower and I try not to just like rep them out really fast. For dips, for now, I just wanna increase my numbers. I wanna go up to 25, 30, 40, 50 dips even. And then after that, I will probably increase by adding some weight. My abs are currently my weakness. Even though they don't look too shabby, they're not, or my abs are not strong enough to support me in basically, I would say like 70% of the exercises that I wanna do. A human flag, uh, a planche, uh, a front lever, a back lever, like all of these exercises I want to I want to perform, but I tried them and it hurts. So my core is just not strong enough to hold my body up. Instead of doing crunches, which is like a different exercise, I want to train my abs in the position that I need them for all the exercises that I want to perform. And I've already seen, I'm almost done, baby. Do you want a kiss? Come here, get a kiss. Thank you. I need five more minutes, okay? I need five more minutes. Yeah, I've, I've seen great progress already with my planks and with my V-holds. I also had to adjust my V-hold because I realized I had some back issues, which indicates a weak core. So I just brought my knees a little bit back, have, uh, you know, bent knees, and just hold that for as long as I can. Uh, hip is rotated in and then I just squeeze as hard as I can. I know for this video I didn't have too much b-roll of me working out, but in this apartment it's kind of uh, busy right now because we're moving, so the entire apartment is filled with boxes, but we're moving in one week, so I'll, I will do my best to record the next week in here, because that, that will be the last week in the apartment, to really showcase how I train, and I obviously want to document every single step so I see the progress because I think there will be a big progress within a couple weeks. I'll see you in the next video. Falco, come on, let's go to bed. Come on. You wanna say bye real quick? Come on, say bye. Falco says bye too. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Alrighty. Hurry. Come on, bedtime. It's bedtime.